<laughs> when I was a child, my favorite story was about a man who lived forever. There's a man called the Doctor. It's just a story. I've been brought up on the stories. I can see a man. Listen, if you dig deep enough, keep a lively mind. This doctor keeps cropping up all over the place. The most remarkable man. He has saved your lives so many times and you never even knew he was there. Political diaries, conspiracy theories, even ghost stories. He never stops. He never stays. He never asks to be thanked. He's the last of his kind. He looks young, but he's lived for hundreds and hundreds of years. Who are you? Oh, I'm just a passerby. Just a friend, passing through. Oh, I'm just sort of passing by. I'm just a traveller. I'm just a traveller, wandering past. You go places, I can tell. My mum always said, with some people, you can smell the wind in their clothes. Don't even know who he is. We've spent all this time with him, we don't even know where she's from. He's a complete stranger. If the doctor's making house calls, God help you. Say hello to the doctor. Hello, everyone. I'm the doctor. I'm the doctor. Just the doctor. How do you mean, just the doctor? What sort of doctor? Who is he? The famous doctor. Doctor who? And you, doctor with no name. It's more than just a secret, isn't it? I will do everything in my power to save all your lives, and when I do, one day you will look back and wonder who I was, how I helped you. The man who makes people better. And there he is, the voice of God. Why is it up to you to save us? That's quite a God complex you have there. You're doing all this to make up for it. Save the world. You must have been like God. Are you ready to be a God? How sanctimonious is that? Don't worship me, I'd make a very bad God. You lie about who we are, about what we've done. You're quite the funny man. And yet, I think, laughing on purpose at the darkness. Looking at you, Doctor, is like looking into a mirror. The man who abhors violence, never carrying a gun. Censors report he is unarmed. I'm not armed. But you have no weapons, no defenses, no plan. You are unharmed. That you are powerless! They can shoot me dead, but the moral high ground is mine. And doesn't that scare you to death? First thing you notice about the Doctor of War is he's unarmed. For many, it's also the last. Are you so dangerous, little man? Do you want to know how dangerous I am? I have seen at the time of ending. The Doctor's soul will be revealed. Why do they hate you? So much. They hate you so much. Why? My masters, they fear the doctor. Fear. Pure, unadulterated dread. Then, because I was so scared, well, the doctor. And it's all your fault. You make them so afraid. Doesn't it just burn when you face me? We have grown. Stronger in fear of you. This universe is home to innumerable species and life forms. Don't lecture me, Doctor. Not when you should look to yourself. I've seen whole armies turn and run away. I can do anything. He's like fire and ice and rage. You hate me. You want to kill me. Well, go on. Kill me. He's like the night and the storm and the heart of the sun. I'm the Doctor, and I save people. All those stories you've heard about him, they're not stories, they're true. Burns at the center of time, and he can see the turn of the universe. And not even an army can get in the way. The man who can turn an army around at the mention of his name. Demons run when a good man goes to war. Your people were peaceful to the point of indolence. You seem to be something new. Don't trust him. There's a sliver of ice in his heart. We all carry our prisons with us.